Hello everyone, it's Brett here, Lionheart84, and the um, the unexpected snowfall we had last night, which is about four or five inches, so a good uh, a good sort of ten to uh, fifteen centimetres, um, has made me think that uh, ought to mention the maintenance required for. Uh, some of your plants you get these sun snow conditions now snow's a good insulator and it doesn't have any real risk of damage on um, on your deciduous plants but uh, deciduous trees but it can cause serious problems with the evergreen trees um, you can probably see here this is actually a loquat underneath here and the best thing to do really is just come and give the a gentle tap you don't want you don't really want snow weighing down the branches you've got two issues with uh, the evergreens uh, the first one is that obviously you could have the branches snap we we'll never look behind here and see the oh, pineapple gorillas if I can get round the back you have a double a double whammy you've got the risk of branch is actually physically snapping but actually the other issue is if these plants are under this weight of snow for too long I'll try and show you what I'm doing you need to be fairly gentle with them you don't want to break the branches if the branches end up getting bent over for too long the stem cells can become uh, crushed and damaged and then the plants actually don't straighten up at all so it's probably a good idea on the larger ones I can just tap the main stems although the snow is going to be an insulator it's probably wise I'm just using a broom here to get some of the snow off you haven't got to drive yourself mad about getting it all off but if you just get the worst of it off it should stop it will just allow the stems to stand up straight again and cut down the risk of permanent damage or disfigurement because they literally will <coughs> these are quite soft these are quite soft woody plants and it just will cause permanent damage to uh, to the white walls. I'm even going to do the rhododendron here. Notice how you brush a bit of snow off, how quickly the uh, plant springs up again. And here's my other loquat here, look at it. Sometimes you have to brush the top of the plant off if you can't get it down to the main stem. You need to be gentle because obviously you don't want to damage the you don't want to damage the main plant. But look at these pineapple guavas, how the branches have been weighed down to the ground. Look. Not good for the long term health of the plant. I'm just going to show you one more, which I'm going to tackle with, and I'll need two hands to do this. This is my Luma Apiculata, that was about eight feet tall, and it's now down to four feet tall because of this weight of the snow on it, and it could crush the plants underneath as well. So let's give this a little bit of a tap. Notice how it's standing up again quite well already but not fully and what it's doing is it's crushing my Chilean guavas underneath which is not ideal so uh, no problem with the deciduous plants behind it completely collapsed is my strawberry guava so that's going to need a good uh, I can see where the foxes have been in here let me get through here and follow the fox footprints everywhere look at my strawberry guava Sherry guava absolutely totally collapsed. 
they're not used to uh, snow so their stems are not very rigid and even now it's not standing up there is a risk of it damaging the plant really badly if it stays on there for long anyway i need two hands to do the rest of this so i thought i'll just do a quick video on uh, snow maintenance i mean obviously in most cases none of you will ever experience snow it's very rare here it's the first snow i think we had a bit of snow last february but i don't remember the last time we had december snow and i probably didn't even have all these evergreens in ground at the time so i'll do some of the shaking with my hands as well see if we can get them all uh, standing upright Thanks for watching the video, much appreciate it. Remember, snow maintenance with your evergreens before the stems snap. Please uh, give me a thumbs up, share the video, welcome to subscribe to my channel of course, and click on the bell if you'd like updates on new videos as they uh, come out, and I'll get on with this before I go to work. I'll see you all in the next video. Brett out for now.